All right, so welcome to the uh, presentation of the Masters in Financial Mathematics at Dublin City University. So I'm Paolo Guazzoni, I'm the uh, program chair for this program. A um, couple of words about uh, this program. Uh, the goals are essentially to uh, understand uh, well in depth the uh, models that are used in uh, financial institution, institutions, especially at the quantitative level, such as, um, you know, in risk management and um, asset management uh, in um, other areas that more specialized such as option pricing and trading desks and uh, the emphasis is to uh, also understand how to work with data and uh, how to uh, you know apply the models to the real world problems so there are two main th streams of uh, um, you know topics that are uh, considered. So one is uh, the asset pricing and the evaluative valuation, which is very important from sell side institutions. Another one, which is portfolio choice and asset and uh, dynamic trading, which is more important from buy side institutions, such as mutual funds, as opposed to, you know, investment banks. And also um, risk management and hedging techniques, which are important for, um, you know, back office um, in uh, both insurance companies and uh, asset management companies in general. So the program is a very long uh, running one. It was established in 1996 and it has uh, run uh, since uh, uninterrupted. Uh, so it's an established program with uh, you know faculty that uh, have been at the CU for a number of years, uh, some more recent than other, of course, uh, but um, we are a stable program and we continue uh, intend to continue to do so. So the program has two streams. One is full-time, the other is part-time. So full-time means that uh, you can complete the program in one year, part-time in two years. So the content is the same, but uh, it goes at different speeds depending on whether one uh, wants to commit uh, to the program uh, full-time or whether one has, has already another job and uh, wants to uh, do it uh, while working. So the full-time program um, involves three semesters, essentially, the autumn, the spring, and the summer. In the autumn, we have these four uh, modules, probability finance one and two, financial actuarial models, and simulation for finance. In the spring, we have fixed income security, stochastic finance, deep learning, and uh, a choice between optimization and time series. And in the summer, we have the choice between either a project with uh, one of uh, uh, the faculty members here at DCU or a work placement. Work placement, placement which lasts three months for, for this purpose. And uh, it is a choice in the sense that uh, um, if uh, the student uh, is able to secure a work placement uh, with the help of the inter office at DCU, then uh, uh, this is. Uh, possible okay then this can be used for this purpose and uh, if the student either does not want to have a work placement or you know looks for work placement but does not find uh, uh, an employer who is willing uh, to do that then uh, uh, the default option becomes the project which is always guaranteed by this year so the part-time uh, program is very sim similar but uh, it takes place over two years there are two semesters autumn and spring in the first and second year and then uh, summer excuse and, me uh, sorry this is Noam McGovern here from the student recruitment team I'm not sure if you if you are sharing slides or not at the moment we cannot see them so just to okay let me, no, let, let me double check yeah no problem at all Can you see now? Um, it seems to be just loading at the moment. Yeah, okay. Um, we're on the part time slide there. We can yes. see that. Thank so, you. A uh, quick uh, review of the full time program. You have not uh, missed anything else, basically. The full time program uh, takes place over uh, two semesters. Um, autumn, spring, there are four um, modules for each semester, and then either the work placement of the project or the project uh, in the summer. 
uh, for the part time, this is broken down over two years and the summer, um, the project can be done in the summer, either of the first or the second year, this is for the student to choose. Okay, if one wants to accelerate a bit, one can do this uh, over the first summer, if one wants to take more time, then the second summer is also an option. So it's the same content, but uh, diluted uh, uh, over a longer time to allow uh, people to do their uh, work. So the lectures are in person so we are fully back um, in person uh, at the same time what we have learned from the pandemic is how to uh, you know record lectures and make them available for uh, later time which is useful especially for uh, part-time students who may or may not have the ability to attend the lectures so we try to make uh, uh, as much material available online anyway regardless of uh, the uh, delivery and the exams are fully back in person right now, so there are not going to be any online exams. So the prerequisites are typically an undergraduate degree in a quantitative field, such as mathematics, physics, engineering, economics, business, or similar. Um, we ask uh, generally for honors or second class, first division, but uh, depending on the country that one is coming from, these concepts may or may not have meanings. So we actually look at uh, um, the content on a case-by-case -case basis. So what matters in terms of topics to be able to uh, successfully uh, do the program, one should know calculus, linear algebra, and preferably probability. Uh, the ling English language proficiency are standards for postgraduate uh, programs and can be seen on the DCU website. In terms of career, what one can expect are mostly careers in financial institutions, insurance companies, or consultancies typically. So the areas are analytics, uh, you know, pricing of claims, investments, um, risk management. Uh, an alternative uh, route, which is more academic, is to continue with a PhD in either financial mathematics or financial economics. And uh, if you want to have a, um, an example of uh, recent uh, companies that have hired our graduates, uh, you can see a few here. So. Uh, various banks uh, like Barclays, uh, Bank of America, um, Eagle Alpha, these are more like uh, uh, data providers for financial institutions and um, also other companies as well. Now, um, the faculty here at DCU is me, uh, Paolo Guazzoni. Uh, we have our colleagues, uh, John Appleby, uh, Tom Brady, Vladimir Kailov, and uh, uh, Ryan Wong. And these are all uh, researchers who uh, are doing uh, you know, scholarship in the areas that they teach. So uh, you are going to be taught by you know, people who know what they're doing and uh, who are you know, actively uh, making contributions in their area. In terms of research quality, you can look up on the web of science to see what is going on. So this year right now um, in our recent uh, ranking was rated seventh uh, in the world, if we're talking about not uh, in Ireland. And so this is um, mathematical finance, which is the flagship journal in this field. So you are talking uh, with people who know what uh, they are doing and who are respected in the field. The fees are standard. So they are the same as for other postgraduate programs. EU fees right now are 4,577. They might have been rounded up uh, recently or they might be rounded up uh, next months but essentially 5,000. Non-EU fees are um, 15,000. The part-time has the same cost but it is billed uh, um, on a semester basis. Um, so the details are here. I'm not going to uh, comment on them. The point is that the total cost is the same anyway. If you would like to apply, uh, the link is here. It's the same link that you use for other um, progress, programs of DCU. The codes you should use are DC704 for the full-time program, DC761 for the part-time program. Uh, the application guide is also here for the link. If you have any questions, you just send me an email and uh, if you just uh, Google my name or um, go to the DCU website, you will find it. And uh, that's everything. I will be happy to answer any questions any of you may have.